Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Weekly Academics and you're listening to Faiza and Amdal. So now that the exams have been postponed, the board exams have been postponed. We have some time, so uh, when I talked to some of my friends and some of the teachers whom I know, they suggested that I could make something that would help um uh, you all to revise the geography maps and topography sheets so i decided why not and here i am making my next podcast with uh, in concern of the maps and topography sheets in this podcast i'll be explaining certain important maps out of the eight maps that we ha- out of the eight maps that the icsc board wants the students to complete i'll be taking certain important maps which will be the map of the river river and water bodies then the map of mountains and passes and then the map regarding the winds and longitudes and latitudes in this podcast i will specifically be explaining the maps of rivers and water bodies because i believe that if one is well versed with the map of rivers and water bodies it is very very easy to uh study all the other maps it is very easy to understand where to mark which region if one is well versed with the rivers of uh, with the rivers and water bodies map and that is something that even i followed while i was in grade 10 so let's begin then i'm following this map which has been prescribed by the icsc board given on their website i am following that map while i'm explaining it to you and i would be following a circular pattern to remember which river is named what i'll be following a circular pattern that goes south west north east and in order to help uh, memorize which river is what it is better to number the rivers so okay we'll be numbering it also and we'll be going in a circular pattern in total there are 23 rivers including the tributaries and if you exclude the tributaries and just consider the main rivers there are 10 so i'll be numbering it 1 to 10 and then we'll be discussing the tributaries also so let's begin from the south river number 1 which is the sou- southernmost river of india it is kaveri river kaveri very easy to mark above river kaveri comes our river number 2 now this river you can see has a tributary So when you're asked to mark River Krishna, which is the name of this river, so River Number Two is River Krishna. When you're asked to mark River Krishna, you mark it on the northern side. You mark the northern part to be River Krishna, and then if you're asked to mark its tributary, you come to the southern side. So the southern branch of that river is the tributary, and it is called Tunga Bhadra. So River Number Two is Krishna, which has a tributary Tunga Bhadra. Then river number three, just to the north of River Krishna, is Godavari. Again, easy to mark. Now moving on to the western side. Now there are two rivers, one above the another, close to each other. So these two rivers, number river number four, the one which is towards the south, is Tapi, just above Godavari, towards the western coast above Godavari. River number four, River Tapi. Above River Tapi is River Narmada. Okay, so that will be our river number five. So till now, what have we covered? Number one, Kaveri. Number two, Krishna, which has a tributary called Tunga Bhadra. Number three, Godavari. Number four, Tapi. Number five, Narmada. Moving on towards the western region now, there is River Indus. But as you see, River Indus has a lot of tributaries. Okay, so while discussing tributaries, we'll go from north to south, and to, when you're asked to mark River Indus. you mark the topmost line which also seems to be very long you just mark the topmost line that is river indus okay so with that being river indus we come to the tributaries i'll go from north to south in in proper order number uh, tributary number 1 is jhelum which is the northernmost tributary then is chenab then ravi then there are two more the northern one is bias and then there is satluj So from north to south, you'll be marking it as Indus, and then the tributaries go as Jhelum, Chena, Bravi, Bias, Satluj. Cool. Now, moving ahead to River Number Seven, which is in the northern India, that is River Ganga, 
one of the most important rivers of india one river which has a lot of tributaries also and a very long river okay so this river river ganga has eight tributaries in total okay now when you are asked to mark river ganga you look towards the northern uh, northern side of the river if you see there are tributaries to the north and to the south so while marking the main river ganga you look towards the northern side and you mark the second line from the left that will be a river ganga now while marking the other tributaries towards the north from left to right the tributaries go as yamuna then we have our main river that is ganga then gomati then to the right of gomati ghagra to the right of ghagra gandak and to the right of gandak there is kosi from left to right these are the five tributaries on the northern side now there are three tributaries on the southern side again from left to right it goes as chambal betwa son so in total eight tributaries river ganga being second from the left on the northern side that is your main river and the tributaries from left to right on the north are yamuna to the right of ganga is gomati then ghagra then gandak then kosi to the south it is chambal betwa son again order left to right now moving towards northeastern side we have river brahmaputra which is our river number 8 now brahmaputra comes from outside of india and then enters india right so it come it starts in china and then enters india now the part which is outside the boundaries of india is known as sangpo t s a n g p o sangpo okay the part inside the boundaries of india is known as brahmaputra so whenever you are asked to mark brahmaputra remember it should be within the boundaries of india okay so that is your river number 8 now river number 9 is a very small river which is known as damodar it is also in the northeastern region if you see below ganga where ganga and brahmaputra meet just close to that point there is another river that river is river damodar okay after river damodar our last the 10th river is on the eastern coast that is the east side we've come to now on the eastern coast there is you see one river mahanadi that is river mahanadi it is also one end of it is very close to narmada okay that river is river mahanadi so just a quick recap of all the 10 rivers including all their tributaries goes as from south kaveri krishna krishna has a tributary tungabhadra then godavari then tapi the narmada then indus the tributaries from north to south go as jhelum chenab ravi bias satluj then river ganga which is river number 7 tributaries from left to right on the northern side go as yamuna then the main river ganga then gomati then ghagra then gandak then kosi to the south the tributaries go from left to right as chambal betwa son coming to river number 8 that is brahmaputra within the indian boundaries outside the indian boundary boundaries it is sangpo river number 9 very close to ganga and brahmaputra uh, the point where ganga and brahmaputra meet that is river damodar below river damodar on the eastern coast is our last in river number 10 river mahanadi so these are your 23 rivers now there are certain other things also that this maps include like the gulfs and the um seas and there is one lake also now very close to river mahanadi you see that there is a lake a, a bit of a darker spot on the map if you see on a blank map and that is lake chilka or chilka lake as you wish to call it okay now coming again to the southern part we'll still go in the same uh, rotation that we are going so coming down in the southern part part where there is a small dotted line between india and sri lanka now above that dotted line to the north side of that dotted line is palk strait and to the south of that dotted line is gulf of malabar okay so if you are asked to mark palk strait what do you do you find river kaveri below kaveri you will see a dotted line which is b- between india and sri lanka so above the dotted line is palk strait below the dotted line is gulf of mannar now moving on towards the western side if you see near gujarat between gujarat and river narmada and tapi there is a gulf this is gulf of kambay c a m b a y gulf of kambay now in gujarat if you see the state boundaries of gujarat there is another gulf 
that is to, to towards the north of gulf of cambay okay that is gulf of kutch so what are the three gulfs that we have gulf of mannar gulf of cambay gulf of kutch we have one is park strait and then one is lake chilka now coming to one last thing that is left that is the andaman sea whenever you are asked to mark andaman sea you mark it to the right of andaman and nicobar islands to the right of andaman and nicobar islands that is the andaman sea so that is the map of rivers and water bodies of india with this being done um this is what i wanted to do in this podcast so this is done now in the next podcast we'll be looking forward into the maps of um mountains and uh, mountains and peaks and the map of winds wind directions latitudes and longitudes okay until then to listen to something light and soothing to just relax your mood you can listen to suno meri awaaz by sabiha anandar these are the podcasts that gives me the energy to keep going and to make podcasts so actively and till then do practice all the best for your exams i'll get back to you soon with the next podcast on the mountains and the wind directions latitudes and longitudes until then you're listening to faza namdar at pkli academics all the best be safe be healthy and i hope your exams restart very soon bye bye take care